What's poppin' y'all? I'm here to talk about GoGoat and the really cool changes I've made for them before I get into explaining my rationale behind the type change and the three new, uh, well, technically two new ability slots and all of the cool new moves. I want to have a quick disclaimer for new viewers. If you're returning, you can always skip ahead a minute or, or you know, listen anyways. But for new viewers, I recommend you pause the video, read the description. I've got a bullet point list explaining all of the basics around the ROM hack and my thought process and my approach. Uh, it'll give you a lot of much needed context and information. So definitely make sure you read that. I've got it all in bullet point form. And when you're done with this video, you can check out the Google Sheet link down below, uh, the do's decks. You can look at the move guide. Super, super important. I've got all sorts of important information on this. I would say the best way to understand everything is just to scroll and look through it in order like this. Um, I've got it all organized into categories, so make sure you do that. Um, yeah, and here's GoGoat. So first thing I'll address is the typing. Um, I will say Grass Ground is a much better, more fitting typing in my opinion. I think it just makes more sense for GoGoat. I think Rock is a bit of a stretch, but you know, it still has the vibes for it, the whole Mountain Goat thing going on. The main reason I chose Grass Rock over what I prefer, which is Grass Ground, is because I want to have a Pokemon of every type combo in this game. And Minior already exists and is Grass Rock, but that like barely counts in my opinion. Um, so I opted, you know, to make GoGoat Grass Rock because there's already a couple Grass Grounds like Torterra and uh, Arboliva and Maractus isn't in this game, so I think it's just... Oh, and Toad School, yeah. So there's three versus the only one Grass Rock, so that's why I opted to even out the typings there. Uh, and Grass Rock obviously has its own unique things over Grass Ground. For example, the main thing is that you are neutral to fire as opposed to being weak to it. Uh, stuff like that, you know? But Grass Rock is cool. Um... And it's very good offensively. And defensively, it's not the best, but it's, you know, it's got some unique traits, at least. Um, so, you know, you, you have two resists only, but it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. And Sap Tipper grants you an immunity to grass, and you get an attack boost, which is great. Uh, grassy Surge is great for a grassy glide, and just getting a damage boost in general. You've got, like, Frenzy Plant, which is Physical Leaf Storm. you got Wood Hammer, you know, all these strong grass moves. Horn Leech heals you a bunch in grassy terrain. Uh, it's a strong move in general. Vine Lashes is slightly stronger than Horn Leech, and it hits twice, so basically, like, each hit will drop defense, and therefore the second hit makes it, like, I think 93-ish base power total. Um... And it, of course, has the benefit of hitting multiple times, right? So it breaks through Focus Sash and Sturdy and all this stuff. Uh, they've got Dual Stab Priority and Accelerock and Seed Shot. They've got Synthesis, Leech Seed. Uh, and then Stamina is really cool with Leech Seed, I would say. So Stamina, I personally hate Stamina. I think it's a really cheesy ability. I think it's boring. I think giving, you know, because, for example, Mudsdale and all these other guys, they all have heal moves in this game. And I'm not going to take that away. So, I don't know. Stamina Synthesis go crazy, I guess. You have Bulk Up. You have... Uh, amnesia, you have all this like, setup cheese, you have body press, you know. The thing is, with stamina, the reason I don't like it is because it's both broken and kind of ass at the same time. It's kind of ass because if you get crit, you're fucked, right? I mean, unless you're playing really safely. I would say the way I would use stamina is safely to 1v1, maybe one Pokemon if I have to. Maybe two at most. If you start sitting there for like 20 turns, you're begging to lose your Pokemon, right? And at that point, I, I know you have nobody, nobody to blame but yourself because the game is designed around playing safely and caring about your Pokemon, trying to preserve them. And if you have other two other great abilities and you're just spamming stamina because you're whatever, then that, that's kind of your fault, in my opinion. Um, and it's not really designed to be spamming stamina, but you, can, you definitely can, right? You've got, a, you've got Body Press, Amnesia, all that good stuff, and Synthesis and Leech Seed, all of which pair really nicely with stamina, uh, and Horn Leech as well. So that's all really cool. Um... And of course, flavor-wise, stamina makes a lot of sense. I was considering headstrong because of the whole like mountain goat thing, like they ram things, and that would mean they have no recoil on woodhammer and head smash, and then some uh, covers moves like wild charge, play rough, takedown, and health thrust. But in my opinion, it's kind of underwhelming because you already have grassy search for boosting and healing, and like recoil isn't a big deal in game anyways, right? You can pretty much offset it. Like head smash, it, literally the main thing would be head smash because head smash deals 50% recoil. So you know, no recoil head smash is cool, but I don't know. I prefer stamina. I, I, this is coming from a guy who doesn't like stamina, right? But I still prefer it because it's more unique compared to the other abilities. Because you have immunity abilities, which also gives you an attack boost. You have grassy search for like utility and damage boosting, and then you have stamina for defense. Um, Skiddo has quick feet. If you are listening to the music in the background, you know in Gen 6 when you look and ride on Skiddo, he's like super fucking quick. So I like giving him quick feet instead of stamina because I don't think he fits stamina as well. I mean, he fits okay. Also, like, early game stamina is kind of busted. So I don't know. I ended up just putting quick feet on there. I think it's kind of cute. You can do some like toxic orb stamina shenanigans early game um, up until level 27. Uh, and then you've got Grassy Guard for like, you know, Grassy Terrain, Leech Seed, Stally shenanigans early, early on is really strong to just stall things and be really tanky. Um, and in general, you're fast and strong as Skiddo, so yeah, um, 
you got great coverage. Uh, you know, you got ground moves, you got headlong rush, high horsepower. High horsepower is an exclusive move now that hits twice. So it's weaker than headlong rush, but stronger than earthquake. And it hits twice and it drops attack and buffalo attack by minus two total. So that's really cool. Obviously, headlong rush is better in terms of raw damage. Um, but if you're just using it for utility or to break through a focus sash, you've got high horsepower and vine lashes and rock blast and all these good uh, sash breaking moves on this guy. So that's cool. Um, it's pretty much it. I mean, like some other small things, uh, you know, you got your CC, you got like Swords Dance, Grassy Glide. Grassy Glide in general is really strong, and Grassy Surge also has tons of other utility, like uh, overriding other uh, terrains, like a Psychic Surge AI fight, like a Psychic Gym. You know, you can slap on Grassy Surge and override their Psychic Terrain, stuff like that. Definitely useful. Um, and also, uh, every special attacker in this game gets Terrain Pulse, so you can uh, slap on Terrain Pulse on any of your Pokemon and get a free, you know, 100 power, 130 power in Terrain Grass move. Um, so that's really fun and good. Um, and in general, Grass Surge is just great. Uh, you know, it makes a lot of sense for him. Um, stamina makes a lot of sense, and Sap Sipper is cool now that he's neutral to Grass. I think it's really neat for him to be immune. And again, he does get a damage boost, and the damage boost from Sap Sipper out, out damages the Grassy Surge boost, so you can actually be even stronger if you can properly, you know, pivot into a grass move, which isn't hard to do. Um, obviously, versus specific bosses, it'll be easier, but, you know, a lot of bosses will have a grass move, at least one grass move to, like, bait with another Pokemon on your team, switch into your Go-Go, and you're good. Not to mention, it also just gives you defensive utility, right? Like, you're getting an additional immunity, so you resist normal plus grass plus electric. You know, it's pretty good, so... Uh, yeah, thanks for listening. I think I've covered pretty much all the important stuff. A pretty short video, man. Is there anything else I want to talk about i guess trailblaze is great what's grassy surge oh stat wise yeah uh so no more mixed attacking i think mixed attackers are sick but i already am like kind of limited with the bst here right like i was already pushing it like 550 i would say gogo fits 535 which is like another benchmark in this game um but they, i don't i wouldn't say they fit the 550 benchmark that well i mostly just did it because I, there was like just i wanted to give them the stats that they have i didn't want to decrease their hp too much obviously 123 is like massive and i don't really i like the base hp a bit more on size but you know they're still like a big goat so i can keep the 103 uh, and then i gave them more fizz def um and then i wanted to keep their spadef solid so they're very tanky overall 103 103 81 and of course they have stamina and i wanted them to be quick and strong is the thing um so that's why they have the stats that they do and that's why i dropped special attack so much just because there was nowhere else i could really take any stats from uh, while still hitting like keeping a reasonable bst benchmark uh, of 550 because no way they fit the semi pseudo be uh, benchmark right um i don't know it's basically a man you got some other multi-hit options like pummel and wallop and rock blast and bullet seed so you could do like some loaded dice shenanigans once in a while uh Growth in the sun could be kind of cool. Rock Wrecker is really cool. Uh, Rock Wrecker is the same thing as Frenzy Plant. It drops your attack by minus two. So that's a really strong option uh, for rock move up until you get head smash, which is the same power, but is more spammable, but it deals a lot of recoil. So if you're just trying to get in and get out, Rock Wrecker is still good. But if you're just trying to, you know, get two kills in a row with Scarf head smash, then your head smash is your way to go. Um, rock Wrecker is really cool because also you can do like Rock Wrecker or Frenzy Plant plus um, a Jack Pack. I think that's super dope. Um, with Grassy Search, you could like switch in, Frenzy Plant, a check pack out, get a kill in position for the next Pokemon to come in. That's always a really good advantage to have. A check pack in general is sick on every Pokemon in this game because every Pokemon gets, uh, every Pokemon at the very least gets Hyper Beam and Giga Impact, um, which are all also Draco Meteor variants. And of course, most of them will get a stab option as well. Um, so that's really cool. I think I've really, I think I've really covered everything, man. Baton Pass is uh, really cheesy with stamina, but I also like the idea of a slow pivot, and I also think like riding type Pokemon should all have Baton Pass, like Mudsdale. I don't know any Pokemon that you can like ride or has that type of vibe. I think should just get Baton Pass. So, you know, if you want to go and be cheesy and you know stamina Baton Pass into your fucking Shell Armor Mon or some shit, then go for it, I guess. Um, yeah, I think I've covered pretty much everything, y'all. So I appreciate you listening if you made it to the end, and I'll be back for more coming up. Make sure you'll drop a comment if you did make it to the end. It lets me know who makes it to the end and stuff. Peace, y'all.